DataCamp is one of the most popular platforms for beginners to learn all sorts of data science skills. It's affordable, easy to use, and they have a ton of courses to help you become a data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, and more. This has led to some people thinking that DataCamp is this holy grail, that you have to use to succeed, and that's not true at all. DataCamp is a fantastic platform, but not for everyone. This video is going to be the most complete review of DataCamp out there. I'm gonna go through everything you need to know if you're considering learning on this platform. We'll cover everything you can do on DataCamp, from the courses, to the projects and the certifications, to their job and their career platform. We're also gonna talk about the pros and cons, and whether DataCamp is good for you, or if there's a better alternative. Because it's not just about what you learn, but also how and where you learn it. Let's get started. So when we click on learn, we'll see a few different things here on the side. Let's click on tracks and we can see career tracks and skill tracks. Let's begin with the skill tracks. This is very similar to specializations or professional certificates on Coursera. It's a bunch of courses bundled together, which they recommend that you complete in a certain order. Let's say you want to learn SQL fundamentals, then they have six different courses, which will take you around 22 hours to complete. They offer a lot of different skill tracks. We have Python, SQL, R, Power BI, Tableau, Excel, Spreadsheets, Julia, AI, and Machine Learning, as well as basic data literacy. For some of these ones, you'll notice that it says certification available, which we're going to talk about later as well. I'm not forgetting that at all. Now, let's take a look at the career tracks. This is what I think most people will be interested in. The skill tracks are a great way to brush up on a specific skill, but if you're just looking to learn many skills at the same time, for example, to become a data analyst, a data engineer, a Python programmer, whatever, then I think that there are better ways to do it and a career track is a better option. They offer quite a few different career tracks and some are also more specific like data analyst with R or data analyst in Power BI, whereas other skill tracks are more general like the basic data analyst skill track without any specific skills attached to it. Most of these tracks are focusing on beginners and entry level positions. What I like about them is that they're more complete and give you many skills at once, as well as a certification available at the end for many of them. Next, you can see the course section which is pretty self-explanatory they are courses and currently they have 434 courses but most are really short like just a few hours so if you want a complete learning experience i would recommend multiple or the skill tracks one course is not really going to teach you much unfortunately they offer the most common skills in data science but also kind of throwing in a few other skills like chat gpt and other stuff to stay relevant i guess then we have the practice section and here we have quick exercises which is a nice way to kind of reinforce some of the skills you've learned. It's not going to be the best way to learn, you know, from scratch, but it's going to be a good way to test and see that you're actually keeping up with your learning. Nothing revolutionary, to be honest, but I think some other free platforms like We3Schools offer even better exercises, but it's still a nice thing to have on DataCamp in just one place. Below, we have the assessment section, and this is where you can test your own skill level and see where you're at compared to their assignments and their measurements. I see one issue with this because I don't really agree with the way that they're testing these skills, it's very hard to test someone's complete skill level in just 10 minutes and be accurate. There's a reason why most certifications are like 90 minutes or 2 hours or even 3 hours, because frankly in 10 minutes it can just depend on if you had a glass of water before the test. And also it's not all about memorization, all of that stuff can be googled or found with ChatGPT nowadays, so I think the test should be a bit longer to be really accurate, but that's just my opinion. Still pretty cool, there are currently 23 assessments available, and the next section is tutorial which is basically just articles with a fancy name that you can learn a bit of stuff from. Now let's move on to the really practical things which are going to be some of the most valuable things on DataCamp. First we have the project section. They have 122 projects where you can select skills like Python, SQL, R or whatever you want to learn and get some really good project ideas to build under their guidance. And this is a really good thing to have. You have a description, a list of the techniques and prerequisites to build the project, like what skill level you need to be to actually make use of this project, or it's gonna be really difficult and not make sense to you at all. And then it kind of lists the different steps that you need to go through. This is one of the sections I will spend most of my time if I'm learning on DataCamp using, because I think it's such a good thing to have. The case study section is also really cool. They're more focusing on projects that seem realistic, you know, the real case studies and they could apply more in the real world that's also cool to have. Next, the code alongs, and you have a video walkthrough to help you out while you solve a coding problem. That's a really good thing as well. 
And finally, the competitions. Now, I don't know much about this section, to be honest, but they do offer some prizes for people to solve different data science problems. Some even give you money if you win the challenges. I see up to 500 bucks, which is quite nice to have while others offer the wonderful price of knowledge and appreciation. Now, let's quickly go through the workspace section, and this is pretty neat. You can connect databases and upload your data and then analyze the data through DataCamp's own workspace environment without installing anything on your computer. You can just do it in the browser on DataCamp. You can work in Python, SQL, or just text. They also offer lots of sample databases and data sets, and that's really cool because you can kind of play around and try things out. And they also offer some popular projects for you to check out in your own workspace as well and try things out. One of the best ways to learn is just to dabble around and find out for yourself rather than just going through perfect tutorials. So I think that's really good to have an environment where you can set up things and just practice. Next, the certification section. And a certification is basically where you take an exam and if you pass, you receive a certification or a certificate. They have data analyst certification data scientist and data engineer, as well as one for SQL. They also partner with Microsoft to prepare you for Microsoft's own PL300 data analyst exam, and they give you a discount and offer a specific learning path for that certification, which could be a really good idea if you want to become a data analyst. These certifications have no specific due dates or requirements or anything. You can just take them whenever you feel ready. But they do have certain recommendations you should fulfill if you want to have a chance of passing because you don't just want to fail like 16 times. Or I guess you could do that. Finally, before we get to the pros and cons, we have the data camp job section here where you can connect with employers both for remote and on site jobs. Unfortunately, this seems to be restricted to US only, but in the future, I assume that they'll be expanding this to more countries. Still a good thing to have. Now, let's take a moment to talk about the upsides and downsides of using data camp to learn data science skills. First, they have a lot of great projects, whether you decide to follow them completely or just take some inspiration, they're available whenever you need it. And portfolio projects are a game changer for learning and for getting hired. It's also very affordable, they're cheaper than Coursera. Now, they don't offer as many courses, unfortunately, but all of their material is somewhat related to data science, which is not the case on Coursera. All right, so let's talk about the downsides of Data Camp. First, you're doing everything in their learning environment, which means that you won't really get any experience doing things on your own machine or setting things up yourself. The real world is also not as perfect as Data Camp. Data could be missing or other issues, but they will often occur. Now, I still think Data Camp is good, because they do teach you what they're supposed to teach you, like the fundamentals and the syntax, and it also really helps you stay consistent and learn the right skills. For that reason, I think it's worth it, and I do recommend Data Camp. But primarily to beginners or those looking to focus on a specific skill. If you're already advanced, then you're better off just learning through projects or on another platform. That's it. What do you think about Data Camp? I'll leave a link to it in the description, as well as any current discounts or offers that I can find. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.